think I've got something here I, you can help me with. Ooh, this is exciting. Now, one of the things that we're going to need here is just a few uh, items. It's probably not as nice as the purse you've got. But let's let's put your arm in there like this. Wow. Okay, that's good. Oh, we got a few like more, that. few more little uh, niceties to add to your fashion statement. Oh. Let's put this on. This is where you put your gunpowder. That's gunpowder. That's that's a powder horn. This is your priming horn. Ooh. Okay, now you're about set. Oh, one more thing. Priming horn. Oh. Last piece of the equipment. What a beauty. Would be this. This is just like Daniel Boone's yeah. gun, isn't it? It's fantastic. This is a 50 caliber flintlock long rifle. This is exactly the sort of gun that Isaac Best uh, and the people who are out here would have actually been using. Gosh, it's heavy. Yeah, it's very barrel heavy. Uh, they use this for hunting and, of course, uh, defense if necessary. What I have here is a, uh, a document that shows a map that was drawn of this territory in 1814. Right. You see here is the Missouri River. And then over here you can see, can you read this, what it says here across from the mouth of this river? Is that homesteads? Yep, it says settlement of 20 families. Oh, that's and so that's Isaac Best and, and those people who are living right here, oh. right directly across from the Gasconade River. Golly. And of course, this was the 1804 treaty line that was drawn up between the Americans and the Sac and Fox. Indian territory. Indian territory, yeah. As they pushed west, the settlers colonized land previously occupied by Native American tribes. This created the frontier, which became a line of conflict between settled America and Indian territory. Isaac Best's land was right on this line. So this was all Indian land and they wanted it back. Right. These Indians would come down this region and began to attack these settlements down here, including Isaac Best. Wow. This is one that I, I drew up, kind of showing what oh the farm looked like when Isaac Best was probably living here. Wow. Now, do so you see anything on here that you think is kind of unusual? Um, so this was like a two-story? Right, building. right. This this two-story building here is actually no would have been a blockout, right? And so instead you had small holes. Oh, yeah. What do you think those might have been used for? Like a fort. It was like shooting. Very good. And remember, I showed you the map showing the 1804 line yeah. and that treaty that had been signed. They there was a lot of the Sac and Fox that were not happy with that at all. But this is what Isaac Best and his family would have had to kind of live with almost day to day. And of course, they would have had to. Be careful because they never knew what was going to come out. It must have been so frightening for them. It was very frightening for most of them. He was pretty brave. He was pretty brave, extremely brave to be able to live here. So they were real cowboys and Indians. <laughs> real cowboys and Indians back then, yeah. <sighs> Amazing. So right here in this area is where Isaac Best would have probably had his home. Uh, in 1817, when U.S. surveyors came through, they marked that the river came as far up as we're standing. Now, this is a document that came from a fellow by the name of Lyman Draper. Now, Dr. Draper came in this area in the 1840s and 50s and began to talk to these old pioneers who lived here. So start right about here. See what you can read of that. In about 1814, Isaac Best's family, residing on the north bank of the Missouri, above the mouth of the Lutra, and not far opposite the mouth of the Gasconade, Best and William Callahan were at Best's house and dogs spied Indians creeping up through the corn towards the house. <gasps> See, dogs are good. Mm -hmm. The dogs and these two white men kept the Indians at bay till Mrs. Best and Mrs. Callahan and children ran down and got into the canoe and escaped. Mm -hmm. In the fight, Callahan was shot through the thigh, a flesh wound, and they both escaped to Fort Clemson. Indians robbed the house. Mad pioneers coming out here. It was, it took a lot of nerve. It took a lot of nerve to live here. 